Hi, I'm Gerald Harris. I'm the author of The Art of Quantum Planning, uh, Lessons from Quantum Physics for Breakthroughs in Creativity, Innovation, and Leadership. The big idea behind this book is we can actually learn from the universe how to better plan, think creatively, and manage our organizations. I think this is important because what I've noticed is that very often we get stuck in ruts or in groupthink. And the whole point of this book is to give you some rules, some ideas for getting out of that stuck place. And the rules are sound because they're based on how the universe itself works. But I've been very careful there only to take about seven of those ideas and then translate them for use in business and organizational planning, which is where my strength is. Okay? So there are about maybe two or three pages in the entire book on quantum physics. You don't have to be a mathematician to read and understand the book. Uh, but I think if you're interested in moving your organization ahead in a more creative and powerful way, improving the quality of thinking in your planning, then this is the book to read. The reason I think I'm uniquely qualified to provide this information is because I've spent 20 years working with a very wide range of organizations doing strategic planning. That's in the energy industry, the mining industry, education, a wide range of, 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 of companies. Uh, and so I've had the experience of writing, reading, facilitating, guiding people through the creation of strategic plans that were really important to their organization. So I've seen good planning, I've seen stuck planning, I've seen high quality thinking, I've seen low quality thinking. And so from that standpoint, I think I'm uniquely qualified to say how do we do better strategic planning. And one of the examples I talk about in the book a lot is, is Apple Computer. Okay. So here you are, a wonderful company, you have introduced a wonderful product called the iPhone. And what happens? You put it in the marketplace and all these little people go out and start changing it and start adding all kinds of new things to it that you didn't expect to break all the rules and you know, move it to different even uh, telecommunication networks. All the things you don't want to happen, happen. What do you do? How do you then respond as a planner? What Apple did was something very smart. They realized quantum rule, that they are interconnected to everything, including they're interconnected to all those customers and all those great ideas. So they turned that group, in my opinion, to their R&D department, <laughs> and then they selectively took the best ideas of those and introduced them into the next iPhone. I think that the readers of the art of quantum planning will find some tremendous benefits from the book. The primary one that I want them to take from it is the ability to plan better think more creatively and innovatively, and particularly being anchored in these ideas that should move them out of the box, and therefore create better products, better work, better um, services for us to enjoy as individuals. I believe in a very, very positive future. I think we need new approaches to our thinking to create these kinds of organizations and these kinds of products and services. And I think the art of quantum planning will be one of the tools that helps us in the thinking part of that creative enterprise.